Okay, once we've got all the bearings pressed in, all the hardware nice and clean, clean all the frame off, where everything's going to be touching, then it's time to reassemble. Right, okay, we spoke about last time using your grease as a glue. Grease up your uh, back of your bearings or where the interface with the uh, with the washers washers is, and then um, I've already put the anti seize on the bolt. So when the bolt passes through the uh, inner race of the bearing, we know that this alloy and the steel is protected from um, from corrosion. Uh, these will just fit on nice and snug with the washers. Um, and then just check the washers don't, don't dislodge. Now then, I've already um, I've already put the Loctite on the um, threads. So when that bolt goes into there, just check there's no excess grease that's come from the grease that you've used for, uh, for your glue. For your, for your washers because like I say Loctite and Grease don't like one another now then I'm just going to screw that in I'm just going to screw that in hand tight for the, oops, sorry about that uh, I'm just going to screw that in hand tight for the time being because I don't want to nip everything up too tight just yet I'll do that all together when, uh, when we put the whole thing back together um, Another good investment if you're doing stuff like this on a regular basis. Get yourself a, an old-fashioned toe clip from a what we use for uh, used to use for uh, for pedals. Uh, nice and uh, eco-friendly, reusable for years and years and years. I don't know about three or four quid on uh, on Wiggle for something like that. Okay, I've greased up the uh, the inside of the bearings there where the washers go. So. They'll stick on there and hold in place for me to get the bolts in. The threads in the um, in the rocker linkage there. Again, I've already uh, put the Loctite in there. So when I offer that onto there again, just be careful not to dislodge your your little washers. Just uh, line that up, and then get your bolt bolt in place. Don't have to nip that up too tight just at the minute, just so it engages with the threads. Okay, nice. Again, this side, just so it engages with the threads. Um, it'll tell you generally on the bolts uh, 20, 20 newton meters. 20 newton meters is an awful lot of uh, torque on there. Personally, I think that's a bit too much. I mean, they are a big bolt, but these are only soft, these alloy bolts. So what happens is, if you torque that up to 20 newton meters, uh, when you come to undo it, it's going to be an absolute pig to get done. And you don't want to be rounding off this soft alloy with your tools. So, now, I, I, I tighten up bolts quite a bit, so I could sort of guess that, you know, if I tighten that up, that's probably, I don't know, 7 or between 7 and 10 newtons, I better have to check that with the torque wrench, won't be far off to be honest with you. Um, that's more than enough to stop the bolt coming loose with that lock tight. Just get them nipped up. And then, don't need that clip anymore. To cycle your um, your suspension there now, uh, your rear frame, and that feels lovely and smooth now. That there's a bit of stiffness still in those uh, in those bearings with all that grease in there, but no, nope, that's uh, that's perfect. Job done. All back together.